guys, welcome to my second episode of Danger Studios. This week I'm going to show you how to do a chopped off bleeding arm effect for cheap. Liquid latex, cotton wool, fake blood, two identical pieces of clothing, a loo roll tube, cardboard, newspaper, rubber tube, duct tape, and an old Indian Mobile stunt that out a hot glue gun and some white paint. Okay, first off, take your jump. Then measure it out on the duct tape arm and cut it just before the end. Once you cut it, you're going to want to slide it all the way up the duct tape arm so it finishes just before the end. Then, once you've done that, I highly recommend hot gluing the edges to the top of the duct tape arm just so there's no risk of it slipping off or falling off. You should do this to both ends, the hand and the stump end. And then you should be left with the rest of the jumper that looks like this. Okay, now take a piece of cardboard and cut it into a circle that fits into the sleeve hole. And then take your cardboard tube and glue it roughly in the centre with hot glue. Then make a hole into the tube with a sharp object. Once you've done that, get your rubber tube and thread it in. When I did mine, I hot glued it so the tube was about a centimetre above the cardboard. This is also where the blood's going to come out. Once all of these steps have been completed, you should get something that looks like this. Now, take some newspaper, roll it up, and then duct tape it to the sides of the tube. This is just going to make it look more like a stump, more beefier and more fleshier. Now, take it, slide it into the sleeve, and you're going to need to hot glue it in place. You don't need to be careful about getting any dots of glue anywhere, because it looks like gore and flesh, so that's fine. So, you can try it on and it looks like this. You may want to even out any bumps you've got. Then, I took a piece of wood I found on the floor that vaguely resembled a bone, and I hot glued it in place. You can use anything, really, because it's going to be painted white, so it's going to look realistic. Now, put some cotton wool onto the surface and start to use liquid latex to paste it down. And carry on this until you get a really bumpy, uneven, fleshy, soft texture that should look something like this. Be careful though, you don't want to block up the hole, the rubber tube hole. If you block it up, the whole thing is going to be messed up. So, occasionally I just stuck the end of the paintbrush in it just to make sure it wasn't blocked up. But try and cover up around it so you get a nice kind of even coverage and it doesn't look as if the vein is obviously a rubber tube, it looks more like a protruding vein than anything else. So yeah. Now take some white paint and paint the bone completely, it doesn't matter if you get any on the liquid latex because that's all white. Now take some fake blood and begin to paint it around the edge. You're also going to want to paint it around the outsides of the fabric just so it looks as if it's stained and soaked through doesn't look really precise and picky. After you've done that, you should get a shoulder stump that looks like that. And using the same process, I did an arm stump like that. Now, I strongly suggest you try it out with water before you try it out with blood, just to make sure everything works. Alright, so when you're ready to start filming, you're going to get an establishing shot of your actor and the story to come. And then a shot of your other actor. And then his reaction to that. Then get your actor to swing towards the camera. And then, set up the scene and add a cool sound effect. For the blood pumping effect, I poured blood into the rubber tube, got an old garden sprayer, pumped it up about 50 times, attached it to the other end of the hose, and pulled the trigger in pulses. <laughs> 